Welcome back to Creators of the Lost Art. My name is Ron, and this is our present quail coop. And it's not working out too well. We had to move it in here into the fenced in area because one of the neighborhood killer dogs decided that in the middle of the night he was going to have himself a quail snack. Uh, and we didn't appreciate that. But ideally, we don't want to have the quail and the chicken together because chickens can carry disease that can affect the quail. Um, I, we're not it, we're not having any of those issues right now, but we don't want to have that. So I need to get to building a, a better quail coop that's more accessible for Mandy to get the eggs out of. She doesn't enjoy crawling up in there uh, on her hands and knees to get the eggs out. So I'm going to build something that's a little bit off of the ground, much easier to get into, and hopefully we get a lot more production. I got to get it built quick. I started by tearing apart this broken down chicken coop that my buddy Jared gave me. Sorry, Jared, you were right. It needed more than just screws. And because I have a hard time throwing anything away, I saved all the hardware, hinges and latches and stuff like that as well. The wood was in bad shape, so I just used a chisel to knock loose the hardware cloth so I could save it. But I didn't have enough hardware cloth to cover the whole thing, so I had to use these tongue and groove one by fours to cover part of it. The legs are treated two by fours at five feet and five and a half feet. And the frames are just inch and a half uh, square scrap that I had laying around. Trim the hardware cloth to fit the bottom of the frames and use three quarter inch staples to staple it down. I added slides for the cleanout tray for the top coop. This tray will also serve as the top of the bottom coop. There are four doors of inch and a half by three inch lumber covered with hardware cloth. To attach it, I used some hinges that my deceased neighbor gave me, you know, before he died. Quills are very messy eaters. I'm hoping these red cups will eliminate some of that waste. I created these food reservoirs out of scrap plywood to hopefully eliminate the need for filling them every day. Cleanout trays are just three quarter plywood cut to an inch and a half and covered with some FRP material that I picked up from the dumpster at work. My bearded brother-in-law tore down a building and saved this scrap metal for me, which I use for the roof.
Then we completed a family relay race, moving the quail from the old coop to the new Hotel Quail of Fornia. Finished up the, the Hotel Quail of Fornia here. Uh, so we moved all of our quail over here. We got a good mixture of male to female. Probably got a few too many in here, but um, until I can get some more materials to build another quail coop, this is what we got. We got some males out in the other one that we're gonna butcher once they get a little bit bigger. We got all the females in here, so it's a little easier to gather the eggs, a little easier to manage. Mandy likes to sit on the porch. She loves to listen to the quail and watch the quail, so I left the end screen, that end screened out so she could see them. Um, put a little box of sand or dirt in here for them to play in because they really like that. And they got the little feeder buckets on the end. I still have to build the lids for those just to keep any, uh, any extra birds or or uh, moisture or anything, but I did leave this overhanging to help protect that from the rain. So far, they really like it. They were sing, singing like songbirds. So, till next time. I did want to add that I got the little slide out, the slide out poop catching trays. So, you know, on both sides. So the moral of the story is, is you want to be on the, the top floor of the hotel you don't want to be on the bottom floor if these poop trays are not in there. You know what I mean.